Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to Cat's Cooking Kitchen, where today we are going to make a low-carb chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole. I've chosen my uh, ingredients. You could use real rice if you wanted to. You could use pasta in this if you want to. If I was going to use the pasta, I might make everything else and then serve it over the pasta. But that's that. Let's get started. First, I'm going to, I think I'll wait on the garlic. Let's do our, I thought I had a spoon out. Oh, I did. I get things out and then I can't find them. Isn't that just the way it goes? Okay, we're going to do about, if this isn't enough, I'll, add to it. We're going to do a half a cup of real mayo. I'm using Hellman's this week. Sometimes it's Hellman's, sometimes it's Duke's. Both are very good. I think Duke's is just a little thinner than Hellman's to me. So it doesn't make a big difference usually. And then we're going to use about a half a cup of Greek yogurt. Now, if you don't have Greek yogurt, not a big deal. You can go half and half with sour cream, or you can use the whole cup of mayo. I'm just trying to, you know, lighten it up a little bit. Okay, so there's that. I keep a towel back here. I hate st stuff on my fingers. Okay, and this. We're also going to use, I think I'll use a teaspoon of pepper. Parmesan cheese is kind of salty. So I think I'll just start out. I'm going to use seasoning salt. Just a rounded teaspoon of seasoning salt in there. I'm going to use a heaping tablespoon, so about a tablespoon and a half of garlic, and it says about a half cup, but or about a three quarters cup. I'm pretty close, and a little pinch for just extra measure there. Okay, and the last ingredients, as far as I can remember what I was going to do. I should have written this down, huh? Okay, now I've added the broccoli and cauliflower, or yeah, cauliflower rice and the broccoli that are in steamable bags from Walmart. They're a great value brand. And I pre cooked them on high. My microwave is a thousand watts. So I did it for six minutes. They're a little underdone, but I'm going to cook them in the oven for 30 minutes. So it should take care of any last minute cooking. And this is going to be a simple and yummy dinner. Mmm. Smells good. I can smell the garlic. I can actually smell the cheese. Look at that. Can you think of anything easier to throw together? It was two cans of great value chicken breast. The 12 ounce cans, two of those. I had half a cup of mayo, half a cup of Greek yogurt, 
You can do all mayo or split it with sour cream, however you want to do it. And teaspoon of pepper, a rounded teaspoon of celery salt, and a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of garlic. And then the 12 ounce package of broccoli and the 12 ounce package of cauliflower rice. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. That's it. And we're only five minutes into the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up a little bit. I'm going to get this in the oven. My oven isn't quite preheated to 350 yet. But when it is, I'll get it in the oven. And I can go ahead and prep it. Put this in here. Look at this. This would be a great carrion dish, too. This would be a great dish if you had a, a low-carb club that did a carry-in or anything. This would be so good. And Cheryl, <laughs> Cheryl Ann, if you're watching, look, I have two kinds of vegetables in this dish. You ought to be very proud of me. I can make sure I get vegetables in my low-carb diet. Look at that. That looks so pretty. That is going to be a very, very pretty dish. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I can hardly wait. And for good measure, we're going to sprinkle just about a quarter cup more of the shredded uh, Parmesan cheese. I get this at Walmart too. It's called Frigo Parmesan cheese shredded. I know it's backwards to you. But my videos didn't used to be backwards and then all of a sudden they went backwards and I don't know how to turn them around. If anybody watching knows how to get me back to where you know it's not flipping everything backwards let me know. I would really be grateful to be able to fix that. Okay. That's it. It's ready. I will get it in the oven here shortly, and when it's done, I'll bring you back. Two seconds is all you'll be gone. Hang in there. I hope you'll watch it till the end. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. You're going to be glad you did. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Now, let me get a plate. And I'm going to No, oh, I was hoping it would come out in one piece. <laughs> Dogs are enjoying the heck out of that. Okay. Get it, Daisy. It is hot and it looks and smells delicious. There it is. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. That is. Something I'm going to be able to do often because I could eat that every night of the week and it's, it's going to be about about 300 calories and I can't remember the carb count on it. It was low. Um, three. No, four. If I cut it in eights, it was three. But So you've got 300 calories and four carbs and one-sixth of this recipe. So if you're counting carbs, and if you're not counting carbs, I would still use the broccoli or some vegetable that you like real well. And you could use real rice instead of cauliflower rice. It is so, so easy. And if you've been watching me, You've seen me making chaffles. Well, I made pancake chaffles the other day, and they were really good. 
But then I got to thinking because I drizzled a little syrup on them. And then my egg and cheese and bacon and then another one. And it tasted like an uh, egg or a McGriddle from McDonald's. So this one, I put maple syrup, sugar-free maple syrup in the pancake or in the chocolate. And I'm telling you, it's good. I'm going to someday this week, I hope. I'll do another video of Cat's Keto Pancakes 2.0 to show you how you add the the sweetener or not the sweetener the maple to it so good these are so so good they make great bacon egg and cheese biscuits ham and cheese and egg biscuits you can use them on a hamburger for a bun you can just eat them because it's a little sweet like you know the maple syrup makes it taste a little sweet so to me, it's like a soft cookie. And there's one carb and 84 calories per pancake. Oh, wait, maybe it's closer to 100 and a one and a half. That's right, because there is calories in the, uh, the monk fruit syrup that I use. There are some carbs in it. So there you go. That's it for tonight. This is dinner and I am starving. I might eat one and a half servings <laughs> because I'm so hungry. But that'd still only be 450 calories and like, what did I say it was? Four, four, be six or under carbs. And all I had today was half a cheeseburger and some steamed broccoli. So I'm doing good, doing good. I wish the scale was showing how much, <laughs> how good I'm doing, but it is not going up, and I'm feeling pretty good. There was my timer. Okay, you guys go out and have a good evening. I hope you all survived the 4th without any burns or injuries. Got to see some fancy fireworks if you are into that. Um, I outgrew that when the kids stopped wanting to go. So, good night. This is... Uh, Monday the 10th. I hope you have a really good rest of your week. Today was beautiful and hot. So stay cool. Make sure your pets are taken care of and there's plenty of water for your out, outdoor pets. Got to keep them hydrated, especially at this time of year. And 4-H Horse and Pony Show in Huntington County is this weekend. So if you like that kind of thing, go out to the Chief LaFountain Saddle Club on Salamone Avenue Extended and go watch some, some of these kids in the area show their horses and ponies. Have a great week, everybody. See you soon from Cat's Cooking Kitchen on Facebook and YouTube. Look me up. And if you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and you'll be alerted every time I put up a new video. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care now. And good night.